Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about Thrive Market, and if you're not familiar with what Thrive Market is, it's an online store where you can buy wholesome, organic, non-GMO products at wholesale prices. So we're going to talk about the pluses, the minuses, and go through some of my favorite items that I always, always purchase from there. So first things first, let's just talk about some of the pluses of Thrive Market and why I personally think it's a really good idea to sign up. So first of all, um, obviously the prices, right? You can't beat that. It's 35 to 45% off of you know what you normally would find in any other health food store. In fact, when I signed up last year, the uh, membership was $60 and within the first order that I've placed, I literally got that money back. The second thing that I really like is that um, all these products are delivered right to your doorstep. And this is something I've been really spoiled with, with Amazon Prime. You know, it, it's just, you know, so easy to, you know, make a few clicks, everything is set up for you, and then it's delivered to your doorstep. Another thing I really like about Thrive Market is how easy it is to shop. So everything is designed to make the whole process super easy for you, right? You have different sections, you have paleo, you have vegan, you have gluten-free, etc. So everything is really set up for you to have a really nice uh, shopping experience. Now let's talk about some of the things that I don't enjoy as much and I wish they would change. So first of all, um, your order takes about 24 to 72 hours to process and ship. Uh, and in my opinion, that is a little too long. And in general, um, most of my orders took at least a week to arrive. Now that could be a problem, especially for those of us who are um, impulsive shoppers. You know, you're getting hungry and you're like, Ooh, let, me, let me just shop for something. Or you're thinking of something that you wanna make tomorrow. And I usually have a list on my fridge of things that I'm running out of and things that are running low and I make an order about once a month. The shipping on orders over $49 are free and if it's less than that you have to pay. However, my orders are generally over $100 anyway so it doesn't really make a difference. But I could see how that could be a problem for some people um, that are running out of one or two ingredients and they want to make a few clicks and have that being shipped to them right away. All in all, I love Thrive Market. I think it's a really good store. I think they take care of their customers. So the first 30 days, you don't have to pay the membership and you're going to have all the wholesale discounts. So if you wanna check it out and see if it's something for you or not, definitely check them out. I'm going to put a link down below in the description so you can see if this is something for you, if it's worth the investment. And like I said, it's gonna be risk-free for 30 days. So on with the review. I'm gonna go through some of the things that I got. Some of these are on repeat and I go through them all the time and it's something that I order month after month. And some of them are gonna be brand new to me, something that I haven't tried before, so I'm really excited to dig in. Okay, so the first thing I got is this decaf mushroom coffee mix. Um, with reishi and chaga mushrooms. For those of you who know me, you probably know I was addicted to coffee. And I actually really enjoy the process, you know, the grinding of the beans, the preparation, and of course the first sip, there's nothing like it. But that being said, I know that coffee really doesn't work for my body. And uh, it's something I'm trying to stay away from, specifically caffeine from the coffee beans does not work for me. And I know this because ever since I switched to green tea as well as puer teas and herbal teas in the mornings, I feel so much better, so much more energy. So this decaf mushroom coffee I was really excited about and I already tried this. I really like the taste. It's got the reishi and chaga mushrooms in it. So I make this in my French press and then I add a little bit of homemade cashew or almond milk. And I think this is gonna be a really good coffee substitute for the days that I'm really craving the coffee. And uh, yeah, I, like I said, you know, I've, I've made it a few times already and I really, really like it. From the same brand, I have this Four Sigmatic Adaptogen Blend. So if you're not familiar with what adaptogens are, they're basically um, helping you to adapt to ever-changing um, life situations, right? They help you to adapt to stress. So um, some of the things that are in here, the reishi mushroom, cordyceps, ginseng, ashwagandha, gynostema, um, shizandra, turmeric, ginger, as well as black pepper. So as you can see, it's a really good combination of things. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but what I would do with it is I, I would put a small spoon of this blend into my smoothie. Next up are these creamy cashews from Divine Organics. 
I have tried so many different brands of cashews and I absolutely love these because um, they are always fresh, they're really, really creamy and they're significantly cheaper in dry market than anywhere else that I found them. Next up are products from Addison Organics. I got organic green split peas, green lentils. I have red kidney beans as well as red split lentils. All of them are really high in protein. I make a lot of stews. I make chili with them. I make these meatless patties with them. I make salads with them. Okay, next up is baking soda. I mean, nothing special to say about this. It's just a pure baking soda, premium quality, and I do a lot of gluten-free baking, and so with baking soda, it actually does rise a little bit. It has a little bit of fluffiness to it. Next thing is organic arrowroot powder. This is really good for baking, um, a lot of um, sauces, and as a thickener. What I'm really excited about trying is the DIY uh, dry shampoo. I will be making a video on the dry shampoo really soon. So next I have the coconut milk. And I go through this stuff a ton. And I also got this organic heavy coconut cream. This is really good uh, for desserts. It's good for using as a whipping cream. I've tried this brand before and I really, really like it. I also got this Brother Brewroos Hot Chipotle Pepper Sauce. I love chipotle peppers and um, I love tacos. I've actually made this taco sauce that's amazing. It just has um, soaked cashews and it has some of this stuff, it has a lot of spices and I just blend everything in Vitamix. And you have this really nice creamy taco sauce that has a really beautiful consistency and it tastes so good. Okay, and last but certainly not least are these Mary's Gone Crackers. These are the best crackers I have ever tried and these are gluten-free of course. So I'm gonna go through the ingredients real quick. It's got whole grain brown rice, quinoa, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, brown sesame seeds, flax seeds, poppy seeds, filtered water, uh, seaweed, black pepper, and herbs. So as you can see, really clean ingredients um, and it's something that's not going to make your you know, blood sugar go up or anything. I love eating them with homemade guacamole or I also like them with hummus. So this is it guys, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you tried Thrive Market and what your thoughts are on it and what your favorite products are. I'll see you guys later, bye.